Looky oh, yeah. here, looky here. Easy, dude. I'm trying to fold laundry. You're kicking doors open. Dude, do you even chew, bro? Spinners? That's not good. <laughs> Freaking Hayes is home. What is up, dudes? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. You guys can probably see it down below in the title. We're once again going to be doing some walleye fishing today. Hopefully, we're going to be doing some harvesting too. Jesus. We got a bunch of rain here in Minnesota the other day. Literally everything is just covered in ice. It kind of sucks, but anyways, as you guys probably just seen, roommate Hayes is home, and roommate Hayes has, happens to be like famous Gall Lake guide fisherman, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna make him take us fishing today, and then hopefully later I'm gonna make him cook us some walleyes, so yeah, I don't want to bore you guys too much longer. We got to we got a lot of stuff to do, and I forgot my keys. Anyways, y'all, stay tuned. Let's hammer walleyes. Well, we had a nice storm in Minnesota. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I mentioned four, that. Four I'm... inches of water and three inches of good snow. That's awesome, dude. I just mentioned that a little bit ago. Trouble. Yeah, <laughs> that is. Oh, that should be plenty of bad eggs for the season. Yeah. Alright, that's enough. So I'm gonna live it all, live it all, live it all. Sip it in me, go away, get a car, get a car, get a car. Welcome back, amigos. As you can see, we are out on beautiful Gall Lake. Hayes, what's going on? All right, so uh, we're out on beautiful Gall Lake. We are on the midsection of the lake here on a big inside turn. And we're gonna set out some iFish Pros. This is a really super steep drop, so we're gonna set some up in like 13, 14, maybe one off in like 28. Drill a bunch of holes scattered throughout here, and uh, as evening approaches, these fish should slide on up and inhale our spoons. Dude. What, is that pretty good? Was not expecting that. Every time I point the, I, I was expecting to be like, yeah, let's catch the fish. But just, hey, we were fishing coontail, cabbage. We were fishing just a big sand break because there is some sand coontail and cabbage, but uh, it dies off. Anyways, y'all, we already got the holes drilled and all that. And yeah, we got Marshall Outdoors and our buddy Cody coming out here also. They're over there. But yeah, stay tuned. Let's uh, catch some walleyes, hopefully. All right, amigos. We got the two iFish Pro set up. We got one set up there. Actually, we got one set up, and then Hayes and Cody are setting that one up right there. I'm going to go right into jigging, and obviously, I'm starting out with a little eighth ounce Z Viber, a little match the hatch color. I think the rest of the boys are going to be starting out with little like jig type baits, but if I don't have to get my hands wet, I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, that's why I'm just going to use a Z Viber. Hopefully, we can crush some walleyes. First drop. First hole I'm fishing is 26 feet. Let's go. Deepest, uh, dude, this is the deepest I've fished all year. What? Deepest I've fished all year, 26 feet. Friggin' haven't charged my graph since I was out on Red Lake, y'all, like four days ago. So, yeah, graph just died somehow. Good thing I have my Dakota Lithium. Oh, yeah, we're back. So it's about uh, 4 four fifteen right now. We're waiting on uh, you know that evening window. It's usually from about 4.30 to 5.15. I think dark's about 4.45, somewhere in there. So it's a really short window, so you got to capitalize. Uh, we got a whole spread out, like I said, down from 40 all the way up to 15. Especially real steep breaks out here. And uh, expecting this flurry to come through. Oh, I got one on me right now. Oh my goodness. Ready, Murray? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready? You might do it. You know what? Oh my God. We're getting lucky here. Dude. Every video, it's like we can't even start fishing. That was a huge Or we bucket. can't even talk to the cameras because. I'm actually not kidding, boys and girls. Can't keep that, going? <laughs> that was a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Big mark. I didn't get to see it. The bottom just raised up, dude. <laughs> There was, I'm not kidding, dude. Four of them on the screen. Nuh uh. What? You just want to grab them? Oh. Or what are you thinking? Why is it going so slow? 
Come on, Nick. Let's go so slow. Dude, it seems Dude, that's slow. a big one. No, it's a fucking walleye. There's, I'm not kidding, there's four of them on the screen. Big one? Like, I'm not kidding. Oh my god. Why does it take us so long to, oh, I forget we're in 20 feet. I'm in 34. Oh my god. Very big, man. Yelp. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, go, go, baby. Go, go. First one, second one of the year. Let's oh, go. How long did that take? 10 minutes, literally. It took probably a, a good over, 21. Um, I was jigging, there was three marks on the screen. Um, you better get back down there. Yeah, I gotta get back down there. I'm not gonna describe it to you until this is over, but it's going. Oh, get, get it, Hayes. It's all you. Gull Lake Harvest. How big? Is that one of the pickerel? I think it's one of those pickerel. You think it's a pickerel? Oh my God! Get grab this thing, dude. Grab this thing. What is it? Big walleye. Oh yeah. Big walleye. Get him, Nick. Get him, Nick. Grab him. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, wow. oh wow! Look at that thing! Oh my god! No. <laughs> Fifteen feet, dude. No, they're going, boys. Yeah. Oh, let's oh, go. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my gosh, dude. Picks and hold on. Center oh. hole. Oh man. Oh, he just clapped too big. Let's, let's go. Get up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, tip up. Where are you? Yeah, this is his. This is not my rod. Peeling. All right, you set the hook. Oh boy. Big. Feels decent. Looks decent. Uh, we're on them, boys. Let's go. Maybe we keep a line in the water. There's a slip knot. Can you keep a line in the water? Right Way down that bridge. I keep forgetting how deep. Oh, it's a good one. Is it? Oh, it. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Walleye? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Oh big one. Yeah. Goggle baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beauty. Yeah. That's so cool. Let's go. I'm going back, dude. I'm getting right back to jigging. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. Golly, got his ball. One link in bio. Link in the description. Welcome back y'all. No clue what you guys have seen, but I got skunk tonight, dude. What the heck? Anyways, we're still gonna cook up some walleyes. Uh, we got two keepers thanks to Marshall Outdoors. Well, thanks to Hayes and Marshall Outdoors. Yeah, me and Hayes are gonna head back to my place and play these walleyes and cook them up. Stay tuned. I'm in the Welcome back, y'all. We just got back to the Fish and More headquarters. You ready, buddy? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Let's harvest the harvest. I got a camera set up right here. Hayes is going to head, go ahead and take over and, whoa, cook these fish, or flay these fish, and then cook these fish. I'll, I'll be poking in and out, too. Are we rolling hot? You're rolling hot with grease. I'll bring it back. Take over. I better have a beer while I clean these, huh? Sure. Blue moons, an absolute necessity for cleaning walleyes. Let's get them started. Like to follow the backbone down and then just right along the rib cage. Another thing to note is that we bled these fish out on the ice, making the fillets rather super white and clean. As you can see, no blood in them. Another thing we're gonna do is we're not gonna rinse these things super hard because when you rinse a filet really hard, you're actually pushing bacteria into the meat. A lot of people don't know that, but some guys just sit and soak their fish in water, which is about the worst thing that you could do. And also, some people try to massage the blood out of filets, therefore pushing the bacteria further into the meat. And that's gonna give it a lot more of a fishy taste. And it's not what you want. Are you making a video or are you showing the camera your elbow? Oh, sorry. Hey, it's like you moved out for a couple months. I don't even know who the hell you are anymore. Okay, easy there, Murray Povich. Hey, Siri. Who is Murray Povich? Maurice Richard Povich is an American television personality, best known for hosting the tabloid talk show Maury. Maury, Maury Mar you are not the father of this child. Maury Povich. Is that that? Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah. Maury. 
Yeah, I'll take it, dude. You done yet? Get the old stove ripping for hazelnuts. Yeah. How, how much oil do you want? Look. <laughs> oh, more. More? Tell yeah, me more. more. We got to really fucking, really get it going. Good. Jesus, Hayes. Well, we want it to be a beer batter, Murray. Oh, dude, you're doing this? Yeah. Hayes, we're making a video, bro. Well, it's cool. No, it's cool. It's cool. Here. Okay, what'd you do? Well, Talk just, us through it. So you pour the, pour we're, the shore we're lunch. We're using shore lunch, not this one, though. We'll grab one. Oh. Show the people. God, you show the people right That's here. Fine, dude. It's fine. All right. I went a little quick for Murray's liking. You pour the whole thing of beer batter in there, the whole bag, and you just slowly add beer and stir. And you want to get the consistency of like pancake batter if you guys ever have pancakes. So this is a little bit thick here. I mean, I could take a huge bite, but I ain't going to do you that. You won't. I won't. Do it. I will not. I'll pay you. No. <laughs> <laughs> you and then next, buddy's going to be taking the flays and dipping them in there and you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know you, you know probably you guys probably know how to cook fish i sorry for freaking out guys. that's all right man. <laughs> all right so we're going to test out this cheek first, first thing. things first we're ripping the cheeks he says these will stick kind of hard so you got to make sure you got I don't like that. Is that pork or something in there that is it's pretty, pretty close it's pretty Pretty close, not quite hot enough yet. All right, so we just put a test piece in here, and uh, the thing about beer batter is it is going to take a little bit longer to cook. It's got that thicker kind of outside layer, but it's really going to give the fillet a nice flavor. You're going to get that nice airy, um, you know, outside crust, and then you know, get the flavor of that walleye. So it's an excellent way. Like I said before, when I was cleaning them, you know, every time you cook fish, try a different, you know, a different way, and eventually you'll stumble upon something you really love, and and it's awesome to just you know, it's the same old same, just frying fish that, that people do. But I mean, there's so many different ways to cook it, um, and there's a lot of uh, great recipes. But yeah, you will find one that you love, and you can kind of roll with it. But me, dude, I. Another one. Uh, Cheek okay. number two. I'll help you out. Yeah, help help me out, but yeah, help me out, but just kind of. You don't want it like super thick. You want just sort of a nice outside layer on that that beer batter. Do we have a place I can put this, Mary? This cheek. Yeah. Jesus, Here, I'll put it over here for you. Put it right here for you. Thanks, Gay. What do you think? Do I go in for a cheek? Yeah, it's probably good, but it's probably really fucking hot, dude. Let me know if it's fucked all the way, dude. Oh, yeah. Here. Isn't that good? Did you add anything to that? This is my secret blend of herbs and spices. <laughs> that is freaking bomb. Is yeah, dude, you crushed it. Here, have a, have a cheek. Rip that cheek. Just take a half bite. Dude. Incredible. Oh. Incredible. We're going to house these. This looks like a mouse. Oh my god, bro. Dude. <laughs> Bang in, dude. Stay tuned, yo. Hayes is just about done ripping these. We're gonna I don't know if we mentioned it either, but we got some some little spud things. Golden round crispies. The final product. Hayes, I think we <laughs> really outdid ourselves here. I mean, how good does this look? I wish I could hand it through the phone to y'all. I but, have to. Oh, you have to go on cam? Yeah. First official bite. Those are bomb too. Like, those are fuego. Just regular walleye fillet. Phenomenal. I need some dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. So bomb Dude's like. That is intelligent right there. Intelligent? Yeah. I'm freaking impressed, Mary. Good looks, pal. I'm going to have to do beer batter more because. Oh, it's just, dude, it's. It's nothing like the Cajun that I usually do. I need mm -hmm. to do it more. Anyways, y'all, me and Hayes are about to absolutely crush this phenomenal supper i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i didn't catch crap but it's still a really awesome time <laughs> i caught your dinner guy you caught one fish oh sorry anyways y'all hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you could like this video 
and share this video, smash that subscribe button. Anybody wants to get out with Gull Lake Hayes, are you still guiding right now? Are you guiding right now? Uh, a little bit, yeah. If any guys want to get out with Hayes and, you know, book a guide trip, go check him out. I will link all of his stuff below. But, yeah, without further ado, one more time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more. Peace. No haze, I've never seen Borat. What's your My name is Borat, very good. Percocet, Miley Percocet, Chase a chick, Chase a chick.